What's up guys, Kennedy here. Do you like filming your activity with your GoPro camera? I must tell you that I love it and it's been pretty much all I've been doing for the past 11 months. So uh, on this uh, episode and the series of next episodes I'm gonna give you some results of different GoPro uh, parts and accessories testing because my philosophy was to be buying mostly the genuine parts. Sometimes I was happy with it, sometimes unfortunately I wasn't. Uh, today we're talking about the chest mount, that's the chesty, that's the box you're getting with uh, this product and it would cost you around $50 or 43 euros, something like that. So it's not really uh, cheap, none of those GoPro parts are cheap, uh, but it's kind of weird. I was going to recommend you this one, but just before filming this episode, when I take, uh, took a closer look to this one, uh, I just cannot, I cannot recommend this part and I'm gonna tell you that just a minute. But let's start uh, just by saying why I like it, why I like chest mount. First off, I love it because of the shooting you are getting from this perspective. For cycling, mountain biking, skiing, any type of activity where you want to see, you know, the dramatic action, uh, like on my bike, I can see my uh, my arms, my handlebar, my brakes, my front suspension working and also when I'm doing, when I'm taking some, some corners on my bike uh, you can really see that all uh, much more than you would see from the uh, helmet uh, mount so this one is really cool um, in these terms. Now other thing that I like about chest mount is also that it's quite comfortable. I don't really feel like I'm having a lot on myself so uh, it's actually not maybe more than the um, uh, heart, um, heart rate uh, monitor um, strap. So this one is really fine. Another cool thing that uh, I've been doing with this uh, chest mount was to actually mount it on myself the other way around. And when you do it just like that, like, like that and you have the camera on your back you can be making some great, great videos uh, of those guys just following you on the downhills or just wherever. So it was really, really cool. Uh, and that's it for the advantages. Uh, the disadvantage is the quality of the materials. Um, this chest mount weighs around 180 grams, so it's okay. Uh, but when I took a, a closer look, I can see that it's just cracking all over the place. Like, here, perhaps you can see that, uh, those here, these here are not just the scratches because uh, they are deep to the other side. So here uh, and, and also here, everywhere in the corners, like here and here, it really does crack just through a whole uh, unit. You can see that also here and here. Yeah, if you don't see it, you just have to believe me. I, I haven't noticed that when using it, but now when I just take a closer look, we have one very deep and quite long, like one, one and a half centimeter crack and two additional just in the middle, uh, like six millimeters. So it's just cracking all over the place. Why is it so? I don't think it's because the plastic is uh, too weak. Uh, but, but it's not flexible. It should be more flex in my opinion. You can feel that right away when you are mounting your camera that uh, it's really kind of stiff and also uh, I think that maybe 80% of women which would like to use this, uh, uh, this uh, chest mount would not be able to disassemble the camera from your chest mount because sometimes I was having really hard time pushing it down uh, through this uh, mount here and I would hurt my, uh, my fingers uh, and my nails. So this is kind of really just, just stiff and not flexible enough plastic. Uh, I've been using this uh, chest mount for around 11 months, just as I said, and uh, I went through three one and a half uh, hour long uh, races. So there were some bumps, of course, and some terrain, but this is what it's made for, right? This is made for mountain biking, and uh, I never crashed with this one. I never hit it, and I never kicked it like, you know, my Diori shifter. Uh, it was just like, you know, normal mountain biking, uh, I would say. And those cracks are really, really, uh, you know, scary me because I can lose my uh, camera. So this is how it looks like, guys. Uh, 
for fifty dollars, um, whereas you can find uh, such chest mounts for fifteen dollars. I don't know, twenty dollars, maybe some good quality. This is way too expensive for such kind of uh, plastic that we have here. So I've never been using those cheaper, non-genuine uh, GoPro uh, mounts, but if you use them, let us know in the comments below because I cannot recommend this product for $50 after 11 months of, uh, of uh, using for my mountain biking and also road biking as well. So guys, give me some thumbs up if you find those informations uh, helpful and I'm waiting for you down in the comment section. Thanks for watching and you'll be seeing next episode with some testing very, very soon. Bye bye.